Hello everyone! Welcome to a fan pen video! Sorry for blinding you by getting really close to the camera there. I am Aziza, uh, aka Gourmet Pens, and the pen I'm going to be reviewing today, or sharing with you, is really cute and um, kind of deceiving because you're going to be like, oh, it's a Sailor Pro gear, but it's not. Um, this pen was sent for a review by Cult Pens in the UK. And there is a second one that I'm going to be giving away, but it's going to be on Instagram. So if you want to check it out, um, make sure you are following me on Instagram at Gourmet Pens. It'll be really easy to enter, and that's where it's going to be. Big Why? Because it's easier for me to coordinate giveaways over there than it is over here. So the pen is a Sailor Le Cool. Let me hold it up. This is the Horizon Blue. And let's show you the packaging. It is actually like like large packaging. So true Staler style, it comes with a sleeve. But what I want to show you is this is the Le Cool box, which is like huge. And this is the like a pro year box. But I'm like, why? Why? I don't like big boxes and I don't know why they do this. So it's a really like it's a small slim pen. It is a nice box though. Totally reusable. It's just like navy blue cardboard. Inside you get two cartridges, you get your little sailor warranty information, and you get the pen. Now, it did not come with a converter, so I put one in there. And um, let me just close this up, sorry. Okay, so that's the box, like it's not very exciting. Um, some details of the pen, it is 25 pounds without VAT. That's pretty expensive, I gotta say, for a sailor, but it's not in the hundreds, which is what sailors typically go for. Um, it is a modern sailor design incorporating traditional sailor build quality, very lightweight, it's compact. So basically this is um, pro gear slim size. So here's a pro gear next to it. This is the Lacool, this is a pro gear. There we go, there's that. And uh, I'll show you next to, I'll show you the pen next to a pro gear slim when we do the writing sample. It's basically a 12 gram pen. It's very lightweight. Um, it is 123 millimeters long, small pen, uh, 141 millimeters posted. So still small. Screw on cap. Uh, it can post snug and securely. It's got a pretty snug clip, but it works. The finial is tricky because it's clear, like the really, like the pro gears have clear finial, but there's no logo on here. It's just clear. It is um, a steel nib with a clear feed. So the steel nib is just medium fine. You don't get a choice. It's just that it is what it is. And so that's the color that you get. That's the color, the nib that you get. It's got the cute little sailor logo on it. Like it's a decent pen. It says look cool on it. Like it's, it's not a super complicated pen, but um, it's cute and it works really well. So like I have no complaints about its appearance. I think the color is fun and uh, like I'm happy with it in that regard. I think it's a little pricey but it's a decent option if you're looking to gift someone like a sailor uh, a kid or like a friend who's new to pens. At least you know it's gonna write because it's reliable. It's a sailor, right? So there's really no complaints in that regard. It performs well. My main issue with it is that the nib option is very limited being medium fine and uh, it's a little expensive, right? So that's basically it in terms of the appearance of the pen, like the build of the pen. If you are looking for a sailor, but you're not willing to, not willing or able to invest in a full size, like a pro gear, um, it, it gives you the same look as a pro gear if you like the look, which I do. And it's a good, like it's a decent option, right? So, I cannot say it's my favorite sailor on the planet, but it's only because I'm like sailor spoiled. So in that regard, I am biased. I am sailor spoiled. It is what it is. I like my pro gears. I like my pro gear slims. And um, I like the nib options that are available on the full size models with the gold nibs. And this is not uncommon with sailor. Like their steel nibs, you get fine medium, perfectly fine. So let's see how, it, well, perfectly fine, perfectly medium, I'm sorry. Let's see how it writes because that is very important and we can see it in a little more intimate detail because it is a cute pen. So I will see you guys in like a second. Okay, bye.
Hello! Okay, here we are with those Sailor Lacool pens. Now, this is the Horizon Blue, and this is the Spearmint Diva? No, that's a dye mine ink. It's Spearmint. Um, obviously, the Spearmint is a little more fluorescent and vibrant, but the blue is like a nice... It reminds me of like a, a lighter version of Sailor's the pro gear they made, the sky color. But in terms of details of it, that's what I meant by the finial. It's kind of deceiving because you expect it to be like the actual pro gear with the little anchor in there. It's not in there. So they're cutting the cost a bit, obviously, because this is an entry level pen. Um, it's more affordable than a pro gear. But other than that, I'm going to do this one because this one's inked. So let's look at the details of it. It's cute. It has a lot of similar design elements to the more expensive Pro Gear. So if you're interested in the Pro Gear, but not really willing or able to spend that amount, it's a great alternative if you're okay with the limited nib options. But you can see that there's so many similarities here. It's a very light pen. Uh, it's quite small, uh, which is fine with me. I find it comfortable. But for those with larger hands, you might prefer something larger. Clear feet is a lot of fun. The nib is very simple, medium fine. Definitely on the smaller side. It's slim, but I don't have issues with it. It posts snugly, securely, and actually when it's posted, it's got a good weight to it and it's quite balanced. So I find it quite comfortable this way. Now remember, I'm gonna be giving away this green one on Instagram, so head over to Instagram and um, you can follow along to stay tuned for that giveaway. So there's the details of it, it's cute. As I said, it does not come with a converter, so I supplied my own. But let's look at these two compared to the Pro Gear Slim and a full-size Pro Gear. So definitely more similar in appearance to the Slim and possibly even slimmer, a little blockier and much lighter. Those are the differences there. Now, if we move those out of the way, to take a look at how this writes because of course that is really the most important part we have The nib is steel, medium fine, one size. It's definitely, for a Japanese nib, it's definitely a medium fine. So um, if you're looking for something broader, you're very limited, but it's a really nice writer. It's not super smooth, it has a bit of feedback. I would say it's medium wet. Um, the ink is Ji Herbe. Le I think it's a great nib for daily use because it's just it's just round enough to give a cute writing look, which is one of my goals. Um, but it has enough feedback that it's not super slippery, like your letters aren't going to slip off as you're writing. And it's well tuned, it's well adjusted, no skips, no hard starts, free weight, fantastic. Um, so this is with no pressure and. It does really well. If we want to do this faster with a bit of pressure, it still keeps up quite well. So if you want to apply pressure, you're going to get a little bit of variation, but basically what you're going to get is a medium fine to a wet medium, if that, or even just a wet medium fine. So there's not a whole lot of variation. It's it's definitely a tolerant nib to pressure and use, so I think it's actually great if you're a new user um, that has a heavy grip and you're not sure how to write with fountain pens, or you want to give a kid a pen and you want them to get into them, but you're not sure about giving them a gold nib because that's some gold nibs are softer. I think it's a fantastic option for that. Um, it's a superb reverse writer so you know i was complaining about the price but the thing is it performs so well that i kind of get it like it's just such a 
it's such a decent pen that I'm like, okay, like at least you know it's going to work really well. It's just so good in every way. Like it just performs really well, and I'm really happy with it. So, hello, Jello. It's light. It's comfortable. It's cute. And it's got a clear feed, which I love. The only downside is it doesn't come with a converter. And that can be um, $10 or so, right? So it's quite the add-on there. But you can also just use the cartridges. Cheerio. I don't know why I'm writing Cheerios. Anyway, thank you to Cult Pens for sending this pen. And also for sending the green one that we will give away. Um, if you want to stay tuned for the giveaway, you can find me as Gourmet Pens on Instagram, but also on Facebook, Twitter, Pinstagram, Pinstagram, Pinterest, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. You can also find me as Toronto Pen Company for your nib grinding, calligraphy and lettering, and workshop needs. We head to pen shows. We teach you how to do fun things with fun tools. So... If you found this useful, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you to Cult Pens for providing these. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a lovely day or night or whatever it is, wherever you may be. We'll see you next time. Bye!